Hello everyone, Rich here, back for another video for the Diecast F1 review. Here today is the McLaren Honda MP430 from the uh, 2015 Formula 1 World Championship. And in the car is Fernando Alonso. And as you can see on the box, it is an auto art model. This is something a bit different to what my, uh, my usual videos are. Uh, this is my first auto art model, so... Um, yeah, it should be uh, quite an interesting one. Uh, but anyway, the MP430 went into 2015, or McLaren went into 2015 with... I'm not really sure what to say about uh, their optimism for 2015. The, the testing with the Honda engine with their previous car, the MP429, was a bit lacklustre. Lacklustre, really. There's uh, nothing really achieved. And uh, throughout t uh, testing with the new car, the MP430, uh, I don't think they managed a full day's running without the car breaking down. Uh, I put that down to Honda uh, for the first year. I give the McLaren the benefit of the doubt for 2015 of their woes uh, being Honda's problem, really. Um, can't really say much more than that, but the car where it really was a lemon. And then uh, Fernando Alonso then binned the car during testing as well in a fairly strange incident as well he seemed to hit the wall but not very hard but still injured himself it's something that I can't explain and I think a lot of the people in Formula 1 couldn't explain either so a uh, bit of a, an interesting issue there but anyway Fernando missed the uh, beginning of the season or the first race of the season although to be honest I don't think many people missed him <laughs> but uh, yeah it was a an unusual incident involving the car. Uh, but the car, when it was launched, was launched in its, uh, I suppose, a retro livery, really, with the uh, sort of using the West colour scheme that they used from '97 to 2005. Uh, the silver black livery. It looked good, but I don't think it really works in modern Formula One. I mean, it's it's paying homage to sort of the tobacco sponsor era, um, and in my opinion. It wasn't, but tobacco advertising, in my opinion, it wasn't really an issue. I think it's just, you know, people getting a bit assy about it. But uh, in today's Formula 1, at least with modern cars anyway, some liveries do not work. And I think the West livery on a McLaren Honda uh, did not really work. Because it was always associated with the Silver Arrows being, you know, the, the Mercedes sort of thing. So, uh, the West livery, in my eyes, is always a McLaren Mercedes livery rather than being something associated with the Honda backup. So... Uh, yeah, it's, it's, it looked all right, but uh, in my opinion, it, it, they could have gone something a bit different, which is really what they did uh, going throughout the season. The uh, the car was running, I think, for the first seven or eight races in that livery, and then when the big update came, you had what the version we have now is, which is the all black livery with red flashes, and in my opinion, is a much better looking car. They also updated some of the parts on the chassis as well, making some uh, the, the nose a bit narrower. Uh, and longer as well, uh, the bodywork being refined and some updates to the engine as well but uh, didn't really improve performance. Uh, only 27 points scored throughout 2015 and a best placing of 5th place. There's a double points finish in that race as well, I think it was Hungary uh, where they scored the double points which was 5th place for Alonso uh, I think and then ninth place uh, for Jensen Button in that same same race, but uh, the team's tally of 27 points and he uh, resulted in ninth place overall in the Constructors Championship. It's sort of what was expected really for McLaren and Honda's first year together, uh, but you know things could have gone a bit better. But in 2016 things did improve, and I think it was more. In my opinion, I think it was more McLaren's problem in 2016 and 2017. Uh, they kept boasting about having the best car. But uh, the Honda engine did seem to improve, but you know that's just my my way of seeing things. There's probably a lot more uh, going on uh, further down than my basic knowledge of Formula One. Uh, but yeah, the uh, things did improve throughout 2016, and then sort of took a nosedive again in 2017. But we'll get to those another day, uh, as I don't have those models. But uh, the model itself in the car today, of course, is 118th scale. It is an auto up model, and I've just knocked the camera so. <laughs> tripod's a bit stiff. Right, so if I quickly look at it in its box, I mean it's a complete full display box this is, so you don't need to really take it out of the box. You can see it's auto art down there, and the box is fully open, so you can see it's got the perspex over the top, but it's it's displayable from all angles, and uh, it doesn't look too bad. You've got a little sticker on the front here which says, you can't really read it, but it says composite model. Basically it's uh, resin in plastic, so it's no, not really a die cast plow or metal model, it's just uh, resin in plastic, so you know, no big deal there, but overall, not a bad, not a bad looking model anyway. So I've not actually had this out of the box, so I don't really know what I'm going to do. Uh, come up against. So if we do a bit of, do an unboxing video, shall we? So what we'll do 
I shall grab hold of the old box and work out which way it opens. So open at this end. Can we? Oh yeah, there we go, there's movement. Alright, there we are. And what we have here is a car with an open box lid. Alright, okay, just, just yeah. try and wriggle it out somehow. And as it's an auto art model, you do have sort of a reinforced uh, box of this one. As you can see, it's reinforced all around the top, so it's got quite a bit of structure to it. So we slide it out there. There we go, get rid of that. Don't need the box. And in the skin, it looks even better. Now, the, the, I would apologise for the light because I'm using an LED uh, spotlight above me, which uh, is not natural light, but of course, natural light isn't very good at the moment. I mean, it's mid December, well, it's January now, but uh, yeah, it's rather cloudy out. So, a quick look around the car anyway, in its box, and uh, it's, quite, you know, it's quite well bolted, but the uh, front wing's a bit wibbly. Uh, so, a quick look around anyway. So, it's got quite a no nice lot of detail. There's actually dust on it, which is surprising. I think this box may leak, but never mind. So we've got a little bit of dust down there, which is uh, something a bit odd. So this is a brand new model as well. This was bought uh, for me from CK Models, so it says brand new, but you know, we we'll debate about that. But I really love these tyres though. They're actually scrubbed slick, so gone are the shiny slicks that you get from Barago Models and things like that. So that's a look around the car. And we'll have a quick look over the top, and then I'll uh, unbolt it from the uh, from the box or from the base. So look over the top. I'll turn it sideways on. There we go sideways on. Got the rear wing there, and you've got a really tight cut side pods of this car as well, which is really nice. Not particularly makes the car reliable, but it just looks good. And the, the orange sides or the orange flashes on the side makes it look like flames on the side pods. So it's quite an interesting look, nonetheless. Yeah, not a bad looking machine it is. And a quick look around that way. And uh, yeah, a quick look at those wheels. I mean, I really love the detail of these wheels. Look at them. That's a nice bit of wheel trim there. And the wheels do do, do go around as well. So got a bit of a roller there. And the steering, uh, the steering does work a little bit, but yeah, I think the track rod's a bit bit too long. But that's no big deal. I mean, not gonna play with it, are you? And this is me. And we've got the rear wheels there. Try and zoom in on those. Apologies for wibbling the camera around. I'm trying to do it freehand. Focus. There we go. And see, so we've got a nice bit of detail there. It looks like it needs a clean. But look at the, the tread on the tyres there. It's got a really nice. Oh, damn it. It's a really nice detail. Oh, not detailing, but a scrub on the tyres there. And it looks really neat. Alright, so that's the McLaren in its base. Um, I think you can display it on the base because I think these uh, pieces do disconnect because they can. I think you can disconnect. I won't do it now because I'll probably fuck the thing up, but I think they do disconnect on each section so you can just display it on the base. But uh, what I'll do now, I'll quickly remove it from the base and then we'll have a proper look at it. So, uh, back in a moment. Okay, back again. So we've got the car off the base now, and it uh, requires, th well, it's held on by three screws and a little base plate. So there's the base plate that to hold it on. You've got three screws, so that's that. So the car itself is a very weighty car as well. So if I just get the camera leveled out, so not a very good tripod, I would admit. So we'll get the car leveled out, or the camera leveled out, and the car is quite weighty. If I just lift it up, it's got a nice bit of weight to it. Even though it's not a metal model, it's a nice bit of weight to it, and it's a really is there, is there metal on this thing? I don't really know. It says composites. I imagine it's resin in plastic, but it does feel weighty like a, a proper die-cast metal car is, but nonetheless, there we go. So we can look around the back. We've got all the details nicely sculpted on there, so we can zoom in on the back end. And look up at the rear of the car. You've got the, the rear exhaust pipe there, but it's just painted in black or moulded pla black plastic. So no, pardon me, real detail on that, but around the rest of the car it's quite nicely done. Of course, the tyres are nicely scrubbed, I really do like those. And, uh, yeah, it's a really nice model nonetheless, so... Yeah, I really do like this thing, even though it's the first time out of the box. Yeah. So you've got the, uh, the rear bodywork, which is all uh, really sculpted, as you can see. Really narrows the bodywork, and I do apologise about the light. But really, Coke bottle isn't really the way to dis to describe this car. I mean, that rear body bodywork down there is really tightly packaged. I can see Red Bull going along that line next year as well, so uh, we shall see. The 
camera is now running out of battery which is really annoying but I shall go on as far as I can with this thing so look around for the nose and I will see there is an issue with the nose already there is a bit of chipping on the uh, on the, the uh, decal there but that's no big deal the front wing detail there you got all separate elements of the front wing so that's a nice bit of detail on there usually it's just a single piece of molded plastic that's no big deal there you got the front suspension there and then you got all the side pods and goo gags and doohickey things there the driver detail is as you'd expect not too bad You've got the seat belts all in there and the steering wheel I'll just turn around and have a gander at that so the steering wheel down there which is detailed nonetheless look at the dust on it though I mean this car must have been out the box before I got it then because it is quite a bit dusty so I will give it a brush off when I finish with it so well, which way are we go? we're not going that way so we want to go sort of along the side so the side uh, panels there barge boards the side pods which are really undercut which is sort of as you'd expect these days. Rear bodywork, nicely sculpted and whatnots. And then you've got the gills on the rear wing. Are these things properly gilled or are they just moulded like that, I think? Are they proper gills? I can't really tell. Oh yeah, they're proper gills. They actually you can actually see through them, so that is a detail welcome there. That's something even mini champs refuse to do. So yeah, you've got some proper gills on the rear wing. You can see properly there. Proper gills on the rear wing. And the details really nice, really like the wheels as well. And a nice shine to the bodywork. But once again, the dust is a bit oh, yeah, not uh, the nicest of things. And uh, I have to finish this video pretty quick because the camera's running out of battery. So I'll do one more look underneath the car as well because they've got the rear bodywork there. Well, not the rear bodywork, but the underbody bodywork. So up end there. You've got all the rivets, holes, and whatnots on the floor. Nicely detailed there as well, under the front wing, and you've got the uh, auto art badge there, and the name of the car there, and I can't really read it, but up to the diffuser, and overall, yeah, despite the car not being successful on track, it is a real beauty to look at, I mean, the black livery is something I wish they'd kept, but... Hey, hey, there we go, I mean, there's hardly any sponsors on the car, it is now, but even in 2015, the car didn't have a lot of sponsors, but... Hey, hey, there we go. So that's my sort of review of this thing. Like I said, I don't want to go on too much because the camera's really low on battery. So I'm going to have to finish it there. But I do appreciate people watching and uh, taking note of these sort of things. Um, I'll come one more look over the bodywork because it is such a nice car to look at, despite the dust. And uh, yeah, it's a really, really nice model as well. So I did use up the camera time that I have, waste it on looking. Yeah, this real beauty of a car and this camera's getting really hot now as well so it's burning my thumb as we're talking really not a very good camera but hey anyway, there we go so number 14 there beautiful nose i have a front profile as well may as well so let's look down the front and yeah real really weird looking nose but uh the paintwork sort of hides that and overall, like I say, a very nice model. I would recommend this one. You can either get this one or the Mini Champs, but I don't know if Mini Champs actually done the black version. I'm not really sure. Um, but I know they did the early season version. Uh, but this one I would recommend. If you're going to buy this one, this auto art version, and go to CK Models because it's retailing around 100 euros at the time that this was bought anyway. So it may have gone up, but uh, I think 100 euros, about, uh, about 90 pounds is not too bad. At least compared to the Mini Champs ones anyway, but hey, here there we go, but uh, yeah. So we'll call it a day there. So that's the McLaren MP430 from 2015, and this is Rich signing off, logging off, disappearing. And I shall return if I can with another review, so uh, bye for now.